जबे हारे जय राधा माधव जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे जय राधा जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे जय जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे गोपे जाना वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जाय जय गोपे जाना वल्लभ गिरिवर धारी जाय यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यशोदानंदन ब्रजजन रंजन यामुना तेरा बनाचारे यामुना तेरा बनाचारे यामुना तेरा बनाचारे हे जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे जय जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे जय हे जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे हे जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे जय जय राधा माधव कुंज बेहारे जय कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 ओ हरे 
ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೆ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೆ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಜಯ ರಾಧೆ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ರಾಧೆ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ರಾಧೆ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಜಯ ರಾಧೆ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಜಯ ಲಲಿತ ವಿಶಾಖ ಜಯ ರಾಧೆ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಲಲಿತ ವಿಶಾಖ ಜಯ ಜಯ ರಾಧೆ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಜಯ ಗೋರನಿತ ಗೋರನಿತ ಗೌರಾನಿತಾಯ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಗೌರಾನಿತಾಯ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾಕ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾಕ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾಕ್ ಶೀಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಜಯ 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 ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾಕ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾಕ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾಕ್ ಶೀಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾ ಜಯ 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 ಗುರುದೇವ್ 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 ಶಿಲ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಜಯ ಜಯ ನೀತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ತಾಯ ನೀತಾಯ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಇದಾಗ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಗೌರ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಯೋಗ ಧರ್ಮ ಹರಿ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಮಹಾಯಜ್ಞ ಕಿ ಬೃಹತ್ ಮೃದಂಗ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಡೆಂಟಲ್ ಬುಕ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಲಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಪಾದ ಕಿ ಶ್ರೀಲಾ ಗುರುದೇವ ಕಿ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಗೌರ ಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಕಿ ಏಕಾದಶಿ ಮಹಾ ಮಹಾ ಉತ್ಸವ ಕಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ನಾ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಮೀ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ So this morning we have His Grace Arjun Sakha Prabhu. I asked him whether he wants to speak in English or Hindi. He said, 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 ಇಸ್ಲೆ ಹರಿ ಬೋಲ್ ಬೋಲ್ ನಿಮಗೆ ಪಹಲೆ ಸೋಚ್ ಕರ್ ಬೋಲ್ನ ಸೋ ಟುಡೇ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಬಟ್ ಟುಮಾರೋ ಇನ್ ವ
and they have to in kunji be in hindi also two hindi and today in english okay so i will give a brief introduction about arjun saka prabhu how many of you are seeing him for the first time here you all are seeing many of you yeah now here many of these youths have come for a sadhu bhushan camp we call it it's a three day yesterday night we started and they are here for a couple of days more so i feel uh, so fortunate to have you here during this time and that's the reason when you are coming from america to india we fixed the program during this time so they all can get to see you and hear from you so arjun saka prabhu uh, where is his father here his father prabhu can stand up in your place and mother also you can tell your good wife to stand also ha ah, mata ji is there see that is his mother his father so they both <coughs> were inspired by his soulless bhakti swarup damodar swami maharaj the scientist uh, sanyasi huh? one was dr td singh one was most dear to shila prabhupad and not only he is a is he a great scientist but also is a very great devotee maharaj and uh, he has very deeply inspired this couple uh, uh, since many years and uh, they they also grew their two children amarendra prabhu and arjun saka prabhu both are brothers and uh, right from childhood uh, they got the seed of krishna consciousness from his own as bhakti swaroop damodar maharaj who, uh, in whose association both this couple i mean they, they were actually inspired by them and they were raising the children right from childhood in krishna consciousness with a great culture at home so since the parents are also very wonderful devotees both the boys from childhood picked up krishna consciousness very powerfully they groomed them trained them like that now as they grew up <coughs> both the boys they went abroad amarendra prabhu also studied in minnesota university i uh, can sit down minnesota university and he studied in new jersey masters in information system although they went to america and uh, did material degrees big material degrees uh, their heart was always in the lotus feet of krishna right from childhood so they were completely unaffected like a lotus in, in the midst of a kitchen so that's how they lived their lives huh? and uh, practicing early morning rising and chanting the holy name and doing long kirtans Uh, studying bhagavad gita bhagavatam and giving classes so they have been doing like that both of them you, you all have seen amarendra prabhu before here in pune and the same manner arjun saka prabhu also is very deeply uh, enthused by the shastrik study every morning he has a japa call where all over the world many people join on zoom for chanting with him fridays he has a kirtan mela kind of program long kirtans with many of the youths specifically in america he is known for encouraging and enthusing the congregation kids those who are born to congregation devotees in america they are not very easy to cultivate because they are children of congregation they know in and out of all krishna pastimes stories and everything from childhood you you start a story the children will tell you i know it they will say so it's not very easy to cultivate them but arjun saka prabhu lives in seattle and there there are about 50 60 congregation kids from there uh, he began he is doing cultivation of those people uh, and also i saw some of his videos how he makes them do dramas hmm? engages them very nicely how he makes them play mridanga and do the kirtans he also went to university of washington and all this uh, devotees together performed a big kirtan for large number of students in the university there hmm? so uh, university club program <coughs> also he travels to different parts of america to different temples uh, where he also meets the congregation kids and does some programs for them besides the congregation kids he also gives program for grown ups also he is very expert in speaking on chaitanya charitamrita and bhagavatam with great enthusiasm you will get to hear him today huh? so at least he is here with us for this program today and i think there is also one more program arranged for him for the youth sunday night i think he'll be giving one more program for es- exclusively for the youth who have come for the sadhu bhushan camp he'll be giving for all of you also so he has come once before here and we requested his parents that whenever he comes to india please make sure you bring him here so he is here with us today so let us welcome him to radhamandam chandra temple hari bol hari bol hari bol radhe saka prabhu ki राधेश्याम प्रभु की 
ओम ज्ञानतिरा ज्ञानंजनाशलाखया चक्षुरोन्मील तस्म श्रीगुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनोवीष्ट स्थापित भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा स्वदातिक वंदेह श्रीगुर श्रीयुतापदकमल श्री गुरुन वैष्णवांश्च श्रीरूपम साग्रजाता सहगन रघुनाथान्वितम तम सजीव साइत सवधूत परिजना सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्ण पदान सहगण ललिता श्री विशाखान्वितांश हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधो दीन बंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका का राधा कांता नमोस्तुते सप्त कांचन गौरांगे श्री राधे वृंदवनेश्वरी वृषभानुस्तुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रि नम ओं विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादी गौर भक्त ऑल टुगेदर हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे गुरव गौरचंद्राय राधिकाय दल कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तद्भक्ताय नमो नम हरे कृष्णा वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग आई मिस दउट आई हेव टू टेल यू हिज कनेक्शन टू वृंदावन धाम एंड हिज ब्रदर बोथ ऑफ आर डीपली इंस्पायर्ड बाय आइंद्र प्रभु आइंद्र प्रभु कीर्तन एंड आइंद्र प्रभु फिक्सिटी इन द होली नेम दैट्स वन ऑफ द सीक्रेट्स ऑफ हाउ ही डेवलप द ग्रेट अफेक्शन फॉर द चैंटिंग ऑफ द होली नेम ऑल्सो इज इनिशिएटेड बाय हिज ओल राधा गोविंद महाराज राधा गोविंद दास गोस्वामी महाराज इन वृंदावन एंड Uh, born and brought up in india but studied in america now currently staying in america and preaching in america hari my brother and i we have as prabhu ji was mentioning we are definitely inspired by indra prabhu but we are also very very inspired we grew up we were living in mumbai but we grew up hearing the classes of his grace radheshyam prabhu I remember when we were small, we would hear Adesham Prabhu's classes, His Grace Goranga Prabhu, and all the stalwarts hmm, who were who were preaching and who were also now traveling around and preaching. And even in North America, I see that so many devotees, so many youth, in fact, in so many temples in North America, are heavily inspired by His Grace Adesham Prabhu. And I am uh, very happy to say I am also one among them. Hmm? So. Before I begin, I want to offer my obeisances to His Grace Radhesham Prabhu for very kindly inviting me here to the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha Brindavan Chandra and giving me an opportunity to serve whatever I have heard from my superiors like Sri La Prabhu Pad, Sri La Guru Maharaj, and all the wonderful, glorious disciples of Prabhu Pad, and also devotees like His Grace Radhesham Prabhu and so many others. Whatever I have heard from them, I will try to present. something today in our discussion 
Also, before I begin, please accept my very, very humble obeisances to all of you all. Please pray for me and please bless me so that I can speak favorable words in the glorification of Shri Radha Vrinda Vanchandra. Please accept my humble obeisances. Bancha Kalpatru Bhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhya Evacha Patitanam Pavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namo Namah. Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Shri Shachi Nandan Gauranga Mahaprabhu Ki We see we are here at the holy lotus feet of Shri Shri Radha Vrindavan Chandra And now when the curtains will open We will see that Krishna is white in complexion And so is Shrimati Radharani but we have heard from the Shastras that Krishna is Ghanasham, Navajala Dharasham, He is Meghasham, which means He is bluish black in complexion. Well, if He is bluish black in complexion, why are the deities white? Is it something that we are deviating from Siddhanta? Well, no, because so many places we find Prabhupada installed. Radha Rasbihari is the best example in Juhu temple where deities are white. But well, if the deities are white in comple complexion, how do we reconcile Shastra? The Shastra says Krishna is bluish black. Hmm? Does the question make sense? If we see in Mathura, in Shri Keshavji Gaudiyamat, the place where our Prabhupada took sannyas, there we find Prabhupada installed Gauranga Mahaprabhu deity. And there we will also find Shri Shri Radha Vinod Bihariji. And there the deity is Krishna is white in complexion. And so is Srimati Radharani. So this question. Shri Shri Radha Vrindavan Chandra ki? Jai! Shri Gaura Nitaaya ki? Jai! Shri Jagannath Shri Baladev Shri Subhadra Shri Sudarshan ki? Jai! Shri Ela Prabhupada ki? Jai! So this question was asked to Prabhupada's Sanyas Guru, Shri Ela Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj. In fact, when Shri Ela Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj left this world, Prabhupada was in Seattle. And we will find on YouTube, there is a 12-minute recording where Prabhupada profusely cries remembering Srila Keshav Maharaj that it is Srila Keshav Maharaj who inspired me to take sannyas. So this question was asked to Srila Bhakti Pragyan Keshav Goswami Maharaj that well if Krishna in Shastra it is explained Krishna is bluish black why are the deities white in complexion? And he gave a very very beautiful answer. Please kindly repeat. Radha Chinta Niveshena Yasya Kanti Vilopitaha Shri Krishnam Charanam Vande Radha Lingata Vigraha This question when was, it was asked to him, Srila Keshav Maharaj very beautifully said, Well, yes, Krishna is bluish black in complexion. But when that Shyamasundar Shri Krishna, when that Vrindavan Chandra Shri Krishna is remembering so much about Radharani. When that Krishna is in so much remembrance of Radharani, what happens is that bluish black Krishna loses his bluish black form and now becomes the complexion of Srimati Radharani. So every time we see Radha Vrindavan Chandra, we have to remind ourselves that here Vrindavan Chandra is not just standing alone, he is not just standing with Radharani, but he is standing in the mood of remembering Srimati Radharani so much so that Yasya Kanti Vilopitaha, his Kanti has changed. Radha Chinta Niveshena, he is thinking so much about Srimati Radharani that now his Kanti has changed, his complexion has completely changed. So with that prayerful mood, let us offer our obeisances to that Krishna who is constantly remembering about Srimati Radharani. Shri Vrindavan Chandra Ki we see in the Shastras, time and again, that Chaitanya Charitamrita explains, Jahara Bhagavata Pada Vaishnavira Sthane. 
ekant ashray karo chaitanya charane whenever bhagavat has to be heard whenever shastra has to be heard kaviraj goswami said go to a sadhu because shastra is very uh, encrypted it's like a password till the time you don't know the key till the time you don't know what the password is you cannot open like a shastra we may know english we may know hindi we may be very erudite but till the time we don't go under a sadhu we don't be under anugatya shastra doesn't open up and we see there is one personality in the shastra who time and again goes from one place to another chanting the glories of the supreme lord often times yes narad muni shri narad muni ki now often times in our indian daily soaps he is portrayed as a very wrong character narad muni kon hai are chugli karte hai wo chugli nahi karte he goes around from one place to another speaking about krishna our acharyas explain narad muni bajaye bina radhe ka ramana name narad muni bajaye bina radhe ka ramana name who is narad muni oh narad muni bajaye bina he plays the veena and radhe ka ramana name he is constantly chanting the name of radha and krishna and like this he goes from one place to another and infuses the heart of everyone with krishna katha one time narad muni he went to the house of a person he went to the house he struck a conversation then he realized that the address is wrong the gps took me to the wrong address this is not the place where i wanted to come so he left that house now as he was leaving this person he looked at narad muni and said well i understand it's the wrong address but shastra always says sadhu sang sadhu sang sarva shastra koe lava matra sadhu sang sarva se de hoy shastra time and again says that when we associate with sadhus we get all perfection i associated with you for more than a fraction of a second what did i get hmm? the kaliyuga mentality I, i always say this the kaliyuga mentality is if we are asked to do something our first question is mujhe kya milega prabhu ji i will do it but mujhe kya milega what will i get when we hear the phala shruti then we will do it that by doing this we get prema bhakti by doing this we get this bhakti by doing this we get this then we do it so time and again we find whether it's vishwanath chakravarti or narottam das thakur they always had a phala shruti even in our samsara dava the ninth verse is phala shruti because they know kaliyuga mentality till the time that is not given kaliyuga jeev karenge nahi so narad muni goes he meets this person and now when he is leaving this person as well i spent so much time with you what did i get narad muni says good question good question but i am sorry to say i don't know what the answer is i don't know what you got by associating with me now narad muni is so humble he will not say now you will get love of godhead he is humble so narad muni says i don't know what you got now after that person departed this world because he was sinful he was taken by amaraj yamaraj gave him a red carpet entry he went down to the lower planets and when he went to yamaraj he asked yamaraj you give me whatever punishment you want but first you answer one question yamaraj said acha what is it he said i am at narad muni in my life what benefit did i get yamaraj said good question but i also don't know what the answer is yamaraj is scratching his head he was mahajan स्वयंभू नारद शंभु कुमार कपिल मनु प्रहलाद जनक भीष्म बलि वया सखी वयम वन ऑफ द महाजन बट ही स्क्रैचिंग इज हेड आई डोंट नो वॉट यू गॉट बाय एसोसिएटिंग विद नारद मुनि लेट्स डू वन थिंग लेट्स गो टू इंद्र सो नाउ नारद मुनि दिस पर्सन एंड यमराज ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम दे गो टू इंद्र वे दे गो टू इंद्र लोक एंड दे आस्क इंद्र दिस पर्सन एसोसिएटेड with narad muni for a fraction of a second what is the benefit that he got indra heard the question and what did indra say good question even i don't know what he got good loaded question but i don't know what he got indra said let's do one thing let's go to brahma ji maybe brahma ji is srishti karta maybe he has the answer 
So now all of them. Who all? Narad Muni, the person, Yamaraj, Indra. All of them hold hand in hand. Just like in Sankirtan, sometimes we hold our hands and we are jumping and dancing. All of them hold their hands and they go to Brahmaji, Shrishti Karta. And Brahmaji has four heads. He is doing his bhajan, eyes are closed. Just like sometimes when we are chanting, our eyes are also closed. Brahmaji's eyes are closed. And they go to Brahmaji, Brahmaji opens his eyes and says, what happened? They say, look, question is very simple. This person associated with Narad Muni, who is a very great sadhu. But what did he get? What is the benefit that he, get, he got? Brahmaji heard the questions. All four heads he started scratching. He said, good question. Even I don't know what he got. It's a good loaded question, but I don't know. Remaining everyone was scratching one head. Brahma is scratching four heads. I don't know what he got. Let's do one thing. Let's go to Shivji, Bholenath, Mahadev. Let's go to him. So now all of them go to Lord Shiva. Who all? Narad Muni, the person, Yamaraj. All five. Huh? They now go to Shivji. Now Shivji is doing bhajan. He's chanting the name of Sri Ram. All of them go to Shivji. And they say, look, question is very simple. We will not take much time. We will not disturb you in your bhajan. Question is very simple. This person met Narad Muni. What did he get? Kya phal praptuva? Sadhu sang kiye, lekin kya phal praptuva? Shivji heard the question. Shivji said, good question. Even I don't know what the answer is. Let's do one thing. Let's go to Vishnu. So now all of them go to Vishnu. Who all? Narad Muni. The person. Yamaraj. Indra. Brahma. Shiva. All of them they go to Vishnu. Now Vishnu is sleeping on Ananta Shesh. They go to Vishnu. And Vishnu says, what happened? They said, look, this is the question. We have repeated the question so many times. Ek akri bar kar lenge. My dear Vishnu, this person associated with Narad Muni, who is the best among devotees, but none of us have any idea what he got. If you can enlighten us, kya phal praptua, what did he get? What did Vishnu say? No, Vishnu didn't say that. <laughs> Vishnu didn't say that. They all went to Vishnu. And when Vishnu heard this question, Vishnu said, the benefit that he got is now Narad Muni, Brahmaji, Shivji, Indra, and Yamaraj have all escorted him to Vaikuntha. He probably could have come alone, but just by associating with the sadhu for a fraction of a second, he gets red carpet, VIP entry, with all Mahajans escorting him. Hmm? Z security. <laughs> now imagine, dear devotees, our good fortune. So many devotees sitting here. If by associating with one devotee, this is what we get. We are getting a red carpet entry to Vaikuntha. What is our destiny? What good fortune lies for all of us? That you on the day of Ekadashi, sitting at the holy lotus feet of Radha Brindavan Chandra, we are chanting and hearing. What supreme good fortune awaits for all of us. In the Shastra, it is very beautifully explained. In fact, this is the prime reason that Prabhupada came down to this world. Prabhupada came down to give Krishna consciousness to all of us. One time, Srila Prabhupada was there in a morning walk. Prabhupada pastimes are very sweet. Sweet and hilarious. Srila Prabhupada was there in a morning walk. And one disciple came to Prabhupada. This was in Laguna Beach in America. So one disciple came to Prabhupada and said, Prabhupada, there is one author who has written a book. So Prabhupada said, what is the name of the book? So this disciple said, Prabhupada, the name of the book is, I am okay, you are okay. <laughs> we can see online, if we go 1970, one author has written, I am okay, you are okay. Prabhupada heard this. Prabhupada said, go to him and say, I am okay, you are not okay. If you come to me, I will make you okay. <laughs> Srila Prabhupada said, I am okay, you are not okay. But if you come to me through the power of Harikatha, through the power of association, I will treat you. Srila Prabhupada time and again, we, he would say that we have cataract in our eyes. We can't see Krishna because we are diseased. But when we go to Sadhu, 
जहां भागवत पढ़ो वैष्णवेर स्थान एकांत आश्रय करो चैतन्य चरण वेन बी गो टू अ साधु दे डू ट्रीटमेंट एंड ऑफन टाइम्स दिस ट्रीटमेंट इज सच इट्स विदउट एन एनेस्थिशिया सो इट कैन बी पेनफुल देर बी चेस्टाइजमेंट्स देर बी ह्यूमिलिएशन एंड द लिस्ट गोज ऑन Mahatma Prabhu in one seminar was very beautifully saying, "Prabhu, but disciple, he was saying that often times we ask the Supreme Lord for humility, but the way Krishna works is along with humility, he also gives humiliation as gift. Ek ke saath ek free, because Krishna's understanding is till the time we are not humiliated, we don't learn the art of humility. So very beautifully he was saying, Keshav Kashmiri." was very proud very scholarly but he got humility after humiliation and there are so many other examples devananda pandit from chaitanya charitamrita got humility after humiliation so we see we are following this path of krishna consciousness what does this word krishna mean sarvam akarshati iti shri krishna he who attracts everyone is krishna the word krish stands for akarshanam attract and now means ananda he who attracts everyone and fills our heart with anand the joy bliss is krishna likewise in braj we have a place called as varsana varsha means rain and na means anand that place where there is torrential rain of happiness because of the presence of shrimati radharani is varsana that in braj bhasha becomes varsana like vraj becomes braj yamuna becomes jamuna etc so who is this personality krishna kaviraj goswami in chaitanya charitamrita explains purusha yoshita ke basthavar jangam sarva chitta karshaka sakshat manmata madhan who is krishna purusha yoshita ke basthavar jangam he attracts the female yes he also attracts the male sthavara jangam he attracts the moving he also attracts the non moving sarva chitta akarshaka sakshat man mata madan he attracts male female moving non moving he also attracts cupid kamadev he also attracts cupid cupid attracts everyone's heart and one time cupid heard about krishna so he decided to go to vrindavan and cupid as we know has five arrows vision sense of touch smell hearing etc so he has five arrows now he was sitting on a branch he looked at krishna he picked up his first arrow from his quiver and started pointing towards krishna to shoot at krishna his arrows are so powerful everyone in this world gets attracted and now he took this arrow pointing towards krishna now krishna is bhagavan he knows everything and as he was pointing the arrow krishna gives a side long glance he doesn't even look completely it's just a side long glance just like lord shiva has composed radha kripa kataksha munindra brinda vandite triloka shoka harini prasanna batra pankaje nikunja bhuvilasini brajendra bhanu nandini brajendra sunu sangate kada karishya siha mam kripa kataksha bhajanam our shivji has composed glorifying not radharani glorifying the side long glance of radharani nine verses glorifying side long glance so you can imagine there is so much rasa in the spiritual world just the side long glance he gives nine verses and here now our shyam sundar shri krishna gives a side long glance to cupid and just seeing the side long glance of krishna cupid who's sitting on the branch aiming at krishna falls down to the ground he who never misses a target now looking at krishna has missed his target completely falls down to the ground and krishna just looks casually and shrugs his shoulder so cupid is called manmathan hmm? kyun kyunki hamare man ko matte hai he churns our mind hmm? krishna churns the mind of cupid who churns our mind but who is shrimati radharani 
Oh, she churns the mind of Krishna, who churns the mind of Cupid, who churns our mind. Krishna is called Madan Mohan. Radharani is called Shri Madan Mohan Mohini Ki. Shri Madan Mohan Ki. Cupid falls down to the ground. So who is Krishna? Attracts the male, attracts the female, attracts the moving, attracts the non-moving, and attracts Cupid also. Krishna attracts everyone. In fact, Krishna is an attention seeker. He is an attention seeker. He wants attention and he attracts everyone. But we are here talking about Krishna. We are here discussing about the glories of Krishna. We are discussing about Chaitanya Charitamrita. It's only because someone spent sleepless nights to translate Chaitanya Charitamrita. It was never done in the past. English rendition of a Chaitanya Charitamrita was never done. Srila Prabhupada paused Srimad Bhagavatam to finish Chaitanya Charitamrita. Srila Radhanath Swami Maharaj, when Maharaj's mother departed, she was so inspired by Krishna consciousness that she had told Maharaj that she should be cremated. So she was cremated and Maharaj was taking the ashes to Ganga. When he was in the boat taking the ashes to Ganga, Prabhupada's son, Vrindavan Chandra Prabhu, Vrindavan Chandra, Vrindavan Chandra Prabhu called Srila Radhanath Swami Maharaj and said, Maharaj, your mother was like my mother. I was inspired and your mother was like my mother. And Srila Radhanath Maharaj heard and very beautifully Maharaj replied, My mother may have been like your mother, but your father was definitely my father. <laughs> my mother may have been like your mother, but your father was 100% my father. So we owe so much to Srila Prabhupada for writing Sri Chaitanya Charitamit and for writing Srimad Bhagavatam. So who is Krishna? Purusha, Yoshita, Kiba, Sthavara, Jangam, Sarvachita, Akrashaka, Sakshat, Manmata, Madan. He attracts the male, he attracts the female, he attracts the moving, he attracts the non-moving, he attracts Cupid. Well, he attracts even Lakshmi Devi. In the 10th canto, we find the pastime of Kaliya, the Nagapatnis are chanting, Kasyanubhavo Syanadeva Vidmahe the Nagapatnis are looking at Krishna and saying, My dear Lord, we don't know what our husband has done. Imagine getting the lotus feet of Krishna with no chanting, no hearing. No getting up in Brahma Murta. <laughs> Prabhuji, sleep as much as you want. No Brahma Murta, no chanting, no hearing, nothing. And then you get Krishna. And not just you get Krishna, you get Krishna's lotus feet. We are chanting and hearing for so many years and probably lifetimes together. Kitana papad belna padta hai. And then we know what the result is. We say chant and be happy. But how big that and is only we know. It's a very big and. Chant and be happy. So here is the Nagapatni is there looking at Krishna and saying, My dear Lord, he has not done any bhajan, he has not chanted, he has not heard, he has not done any bhakti and you are giving your autograph on his head. And Lakshmi Devi is doing bhajan in Bail one, and you are not giving her attention. Last 5,000 years she is doing bhajan. And my dear Lord, you are not giving her attention, but you are giving attention to Kaliya. What has Kaliya done? So Krishna is a personality who attracts even Lakshmiji. Lakshmiji is desiring to enter into the Ras Mandal. But Krishna is saying no qualification. So look at what we are trying to attempt. Lakshmiji is trying to enter Krishna's Ras Mandal. Shivji is trying. Arjuna is trying, Narad Muni is trying, so many big great personalities, personalities are trying to enter Krishna's Braja pastimes and they are finding it difficult and we are trying to attempt something that's very very difficult, very difficult. 
So Lakshmi is trying her best. She is doing bhajan for so many years and decades and thousands of years together to enter into the Krishna's braja pastimes. One devotee was telling me, Srila Radhanath Maharaj was in San Diego and there there is one couple who are Maharaj's disciples. Prabhu's name is Narada Muni Prabhu and Mataji's name is Rasalila Devidasi and they have a son. So Maharaj, this was a home setting, home conversation. So Maharaj was speaking to them and at one point Maharaj said, do you know why he is so devotional? Pointing towards the sun. So different devotees get different answers. Some said, Maharaj, it's because of your association, because of your classes. Some said, because of hearing and chanting. Some said, because of prasadam. It's a wrong day to talk about prasadam. It's Ekadashi. Different devotees get different, different answers. And then they looked at Maharaj and said, Maharaj, what do you think? Because Maharaj had asked the question. So Maharaj created little suspense. He paused. He created little suspense. And Maharaj said, the reason he is devotional is because he was in Rasalila for nine months. <laughs> <laughs> so Mataji's name is Rasalila. Hmm? So Mata Maharaj said, he is devotional because he was in Rasalila for nine months. Two ways of understanding it. In his regal Radhanath Maharaj way, he put it. So that is something that we are trying to attempt. Lakshmi ji is finding it difficult. Hmm. Even in the morning when we sing Tulasi Arati, what do we chant? Eini Vedhana Daro Sakhiranugata Koro Seva Adhikara Deye Koro Nijada Se Dina Krishna Dase Koe Yena Mora Hoi Shri Radha Govinda Preme Sada Yena Vhasi Shri Radha Govinda Preme Sada Yena Vhasi What do we chant? Aini Vedana Dharo. My dear Tulasi Devi, my dear Brinda Devi, I am requesting. I am not ordering. I am requesting. Aini Vedana Dharo. Sakhi Anugata Koro. May I live in the land of Brindavan and walk behind the Sakhis. Seva Adhikara Diye Koro Nijadasi. Please allow me to absorb in this mood of Brindavan Dham. Sri Radha Govinda Preme Sadai Nabhasi. That may I float and swim in the blue waters of Krishna Prem. Time and again we chant this, whether it's Samsara Dava in the morning, whether it is Tulasi Arati, whether it is Guru Puja, the essence of Gaudiya Sampradaya we see time and again is streamlined towards Brindavan Dham. Whatever it is, our Acharyas give different, different reasons only to get back to the essence that is Sri Brindavan Dham. Sri Brindavan Dham Aki! So what do we chant? Seva adhikara diye koro nijadasi. We don't just want to go to Brindavan to enjoy, but we want to be in Braj, in the mood of Braj to serve, to serve the devotees. Jadurani Mataji, the famous painter, she was in one Prabhupada memory, she was saying, when she came to Prabhupada for the first time, she was about 18 years old. And Prabhupada asked her, what's your hobby? What's your passion? And she said, Prabhupada, it's art. So Prabhupada gave a photo of Panchatattva and said, can you try painting this? So she tried painting it and Prabhupada was very happy. So Prabhupada then started giving more and more photos. At one point, Srila Prabhupada wanted her to draw Narshingadev. And those were the days there where there was no photo of Narshingadev. Srila Prabhupada just had one photo of Narshingadev, but that was also very blurred. So Jadurani Mataji was finding it difficult. So she remembers Prabhupada stood up and was in the pose of Narshingadev, almost showing her this is how he ripped apart the intestine. This is how his beard was. The blood spilled everywhere. Hiranyakashipu was sitting on the lap. And Prabhupada was not just enacting, but he was almost in the mood of Narshingadev. 
and seeing that jadurani mataji was painting prabhupad is an acting she was painting but now prabhupad cannot be standing in the same pose for hours and hours together he had he has to do bhakti vandana purports also so there was a point when jadurani mataji wanted to see that blurred photo of prabhupad just to get some idea so she came to prabhupad's room and prabhupad was sitting on a bed and the photo was there in an attic about the vyasasana of prabhupad so she came and she was jumping she was as 18 or 19 so she was jumping to see the photo but height was not there so it was a challenge and prabhupad was saying so prabhupad said what are you doing so she said prabhupad i want to see the photo of narsingh dev but i am not able to and there was no chair in the room so prabhupad said why don't you step on the vyasasan she said no 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 this is your place this is the place where you give class this is guru maharaj vyasasan how can i keep my feet shila prabhupad when he heard this prabhupad became very grave and she prabhupad said for krishna's service even if you keep your feet on my head it is okay if to serve krishna you have to keep your feet on my head i am ready to even take that but there should be no uh, shortage in the service to shri krishna this was prabhupad's mood he could go to any extreme to please krishna any extreme to please krishna so jadurani mataji remembers for seva this is how prabhupad stood showing the form of narsingh dev one devotee was telling me there was one couple who was aspiring from parampooja bachila radhanath maharaj and they were maharashtrians hmm? this is something probably the maharashtrians can get i said this in america and no one understood there was one couple who they were maharashtrians and they were aspiring from maharaj and you see in the maharashtrian culture the wife normally calls the husband aho hmm? aho aho aikana or whatever <laughs> just an example so she would call her husband like that and now she was thinking after initiation name will change so how should i call him should i call him prabhu should i call him by the name or there was confusion in the head now she was thinking like this the day of initiation arrived maharaj was sitting on the vyasasan the prabhu came he said all the four regulative principles and maharaj picked up the bead and said from this day onwards your name is aho bilamdas shri <laughs> radhanath swami maharaj ki shri guru understands everything so our aho was also kept aho bilam was also there narsingh dev was also happy एक तीर से तीन निशान सो द पॉइंट दैट वी आर मेंशनिंग कृष्णा इज सच अ पर्सनैलिटी ही अट्रैक्ट एवरी वन ही अट्रैक्ट मेल ही अट्रैक्ट फीमेल ही अट्रैक्ट मूविंग ही अट्रैक्ट नॉन मूविंग ही अट्रैक्ट क्यूपिड ही अट्रैक्ट लक्ष्मी जी वेल ही अट्रैक्ट इवन विष्णु ना दिस इज समथिंग बिग वी आर इन अर आर की वी आर जस्ट एक्सपोनशियली गोइंग अप male female moving non moving cupid lakshmi and now vishnu in the 10th canto we find when krishna is there in dwaraka a brahmana comes to krishna and starts complaining it's difficult to be krishna actually there are so many devotees every devotee has different desires and then krishna says ye ya thama am prapadyante different devotees come with different different desires and krishna has to fulfill to all of them it's easier to be a devotee than to be god bhakt banna aasan hai bhagwan banna kathin hai one time one person came to prabhupada and said i will not bow down in front of krishna now this is the wrong thing you say in front of prabhupada <laughs> you say this in front of anyone you may get away not in with prabhupad he came to prabhupad and said i don't bow in front of krishna krishna said prabhupad said acha he said yes i don't bow down prabhupad said when you go for haircut how do you sit for cutting your hair how do you sit he said like this <laughs> prabhupad said when you can bow your head in front of barber why not in front of krishna <laughs> if you can bow your head in front of a barber why not in front of krishna that was it gaur premanand that person never came back 
Yad Gatva na Nivartan Dehi came once. Never to come back. So Krishna is such a personality. He is attracting even Vishnu. When he is in Dwaraka, this Brahmana comes and complains to Krishna that what kind of king are you? Because if the king is not proper, the citizens suffer. And because of you, I have lost so many sons of mine. One son after another son is dying and dying and dying and you being the king, you are not doing anything. Arjuna gets to know. Arjuna says, big deal. I have Gandiva. I will protect. Next son is born. Even before Arjuna could pick up his Gandiva, the son is gone. Gauru Premanande. Not to be seen. Arjuna is scratching his head. What is going on? My Gandhi was so powerful, but I can't protect the life of this one son. And he looks towards Krishna. What is the Bhakti Vedanta purport? What should I understand from this? Krishna holds the hand of Arjuna and they go to Vishnu. And at that point, Bhagavatam very beautifully explains Vishnu chants this verse. Dvejatma jame yuvayodhi dikshuna Mayo panita bhuvi dharma guptaye Kalavatir navavane bharasuran Hatve habhuya stvaraye tamantime These verses of Srimad Bhagavatam are instant burst of nectar. If we can buy heart verses, whether once a week, once in two weeks, once in three weeks or once a month. If we can buy heart even one verse in a month. It is instant burst of nectar. Whatever, wherever we are, whatever we are doing, if we chant these verses with the translation, we don't require anyone around. We don't want anyone around. If verses are there, it satisfies the heart. And now things have been made so easy. Thanks to His Grace Gauranga Darshan Prabhu, we have Bhagavad Subodhini, Chaitanya Sharitamit Subodhini, Ratnamala, this Ratnamala, that Ratnamala. There is no excuse, whether it's Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam and that too theme wise. So any verse we want, we can pick up. So if the Vaishnava Samaj, Vaishnavas are doing so much, so that we can buy heart verses. If we put little effort, we can, we can very easily buy heart. And it's instant happiness, it's instant burst of nectar. Lord Vishnu is saying, Dvijat Majame Yuva Yo Didikshuna, that my dear Krishna, I have nothing to do with these Brahmana boys, these children whom I have taken. I have nothing to do with them. The only reason I took them is I can see you. Because I know if I take them one after another, one after another, one after another, you will leave everything and you will come. And just to see your smiling face, Krishna, I took them away. I have nothing to do with them. Who is saying? Vishnu. So even Vishnu is hankering and getting attracted to the form of Krishna. What to speak of Vishnu? We spoke about male, female, moving, non-moving, Cupid, Lakshmi, Vishnu. Krishna gets attracted to himself. Now we also get attracted to ourselves. But Krishna getting attracted to himself is very different. Kaviraj Goswami says, Krishnera Madhurya Krishna Upajaye Lob Samyak Aswadita Nare Mane Rahe Shob Krishna when he is there in Dwaraka He looks at a pillar He looks at a jeweled pillar And he is seeing his own reflection And Krishna is thinking to himself Who is this personality who is so beautiful? I have never seen him I am Dwaraka Dish but I have never seen him So much so that Rupa Goswami says Krishna goes behind the pillar to see whether there is a personality standing there. And Krishna doesn't see anyone. And Krishna again comes back. But now he sees the reflection. And Krishna is perplexed. Who is this personality? He is attracting himself. So leave alone male, female and other personalities. Krishna is attracting himself. Krishna is not able to understand this math. This math is little high five for Krishna. To understand this, Krishna comes down, taking the mood and the complexion of Srimati Radharani, seeing from the lens of Srimati Radharani what she feels when Krishna reciprocates to her. When Krishna reciprocates to her, what is going on in the heart of Radharani? Anarpita charim chirat karunayavati ranakkalau samarpaitum unnata ujjvala rasam so bhakti shriyam hari purata sundara dhviti kadamba sandipita sadaradaya kandare spuratu vashisha chirandana Radha Krishna pranaya 
विकृतिर लादिनी शक्ति रस्माद एक मानव अपि भूवि पुरो देह भेदम गतो तो चैतन्याक्यम प्रकट मधुना तद्वयम चैक्य माप्तम राधा भाव द्विति सुवलितम नवमी कृष्ण स्वरूपम राधा या प्रणय महिमा की दृशोवा नयन एंड इट गोज ऑन आदि लीला चैप्टर वन टेक्स्ट फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स द इंटरनल रीजन वाई गौरांग महाप्रभु डिसेंटेड दिस वर्ल्ड कृष्ण टेक्स द फॉर्म takes the complexion takes the mood of shrimati radharani to understand this esoteric math but krishna is such a personality outside of vrindavan he is very powerful in dwaraka he is very powerful in mathura he is very powerful in vrindavan whatever krishna does krishna's friends are convinced he is not god कृष्णा इज थिंकिंग मैं और क्या करूं वॉट मोर शुड आई डू टू कन्विंस देन दट आई एम भगवान ही किल्स कालिया और ही डांस ऑन द हुज ऑफ कालिया ही किल्स अगासुर अग बक शक टक फॉर द यूथ इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ ट्रांसेंडेंटल रैप अग बक शक टक अगासुर बकासुर शकटासुर ही किल्स दिस डीमेंस फॉर ब्रेकफास्ट इज ड्रिंकिंग फायर Krishna's friends are thinking good. Krishna very nice. We can also do it, but we just want you to get the credit. <laughs> तू भी क्या याद रखेगा? <laughs> Krishna is thinking what love is this? I am drinking fire not once, twice. He is convinced I am not God. So many demons are killed. Krishna puts his hand inside the mouth of Keshi. Rupa Goswami in Hamsa Duta explains that when Krishna put his hand inside the mouth of Keshi, and when he took it out, the teeth of Keshi formed like a nice armlet on the hand of Krishna. So even now Krishna has like a nice armlet, hmm? not armlet, <laughs> armlet. But Rupa Goswami says that is because of Keshi's teeth when Krishna put it inside. Krishna is thinking, I am doing so much. They are convinced I am not God. What more should I do? When he goes to Mathura and other places, he kills Chandur and Mushtik, and Mathura Vasis are convinced. But here he is trying so much, no effect. And Krishna's friends are very interesting. When Krishna's friends are there in the morning in Kamyavan, in a place called as Bhojan Tali, this is a primarily Sakhiras pastime where Krishna's friends sit down and they have prasad. This place is very dear uh, to my worshipable spiritual master, Shri Radha Govinda Maharaj. He keeps going there probably twice a week. He loves it so much that there are instances where he tells his disciple. The disciple says that Maharaj, we went only day before yesterday, and Shri Guru Maharaj said, "No, we will go again." सारे सखागण वहाँ उपस्थित हो गए हैं मेरे लिए इंतजार कर रहे हैं यदि मैं देर से गया तो ये अच्छा नहीं होगा. he loves this place so much it's a sakhya rasthali so there one time while they were there in kamevan all of krishna's friends they had got different different prasad or in fact they had got they had got bhojan they had got bhoga and by offering it to krishna it became prasad now they got different different bhoga madhumangal was also there now we know madhumangal Madhumangal is such a personality. He will eat from other place, but he doesn't believe in sharing. Sharing is caring. He doesn't believe in that statement. So all of Krishna's friends are sitting, and Madhumangal is sitting far behind, and he has got buttermilk. So when he understands that the theme of this group is sharing and caring, but I don't want to share, but I also want to fit in the group. What what should I do? he takes the buttermilk and stuffs the whole buttermilk in his mouth mouth is only this much buttermilk bottle is this much now he is not able to open his mouth and krishna understands so krishna goes to him and says madhu mangal what happened why is your mouth like this he says mm -hmm, nothing krishna says what happened mm -hmm. he doesn't say anything and krishna understands and krishna goes and krishna smashes the cheeks of madhumangal and all the jhuta buttermilk of madhumangal is in the air and krishna does ah <laughs> he drinks all the jhuta of madhumangal 
this is something that we can never imagine doing giving our juta to krishna these stunts are performed by professionals please do not try it at home only krishna's brajavasi friends can do we can take inspiration we don't have to follow we can follow what prabhupad has given nicely offering ting 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 doing putting tulasi we can follow that vaidhi mar so madhumangal is such a friend very dear to krishna rupa goswami explains that there are four types of friends of krishna surat sakha who are older to krishna in age who protect krishna then you have sakhas who are younger to krishna in age you have priya sakha who are same age of krishna who punch with krishna who wrestle with krishna who sit on the shoulder of krishna and then you have priya narma sakha who are very very confidential friends of krishna one time one person he came to maharaj shila radhanath maharaj and he had drawn a photo he had, he had done painting so he gave to maharaj and maharaj looked and maharaj was looking for some time and maharaj said who is he he said maharaj madhumangal maharaj looked and said acha he looks more like a sumo wrestler <laughs> he said he looks less like madhumangal and more like a sumo wrestler and then maharaj gave descriptions on how madhumangal should be so krishna's friends are very uh, very unique and they love krishna so much when krishna left the land of bindavan dham the vrajavasis were completely in tears the only possession that they had was krishna only thing that they had was krishna now that krishna was snatched in front of their eyes and they couldn't do anything they were falling at the feet of akrura they were falling in front of the wheels of akrura the gopis are looking at akrura and crying who named you akrura <laughs> your name is akrura but it should be krura you are doing such a cruel activity they look at brahma ji and say what kind of creator are you aho vidata stavana kochit daya my dear vidata you didn't show any mercy upon us you are planning and orchestrating these things you didn't show any mercy upon us when krishna was snatched away krishna goes to mathura smashes and punches and kills chanura and mushtik and drags kamsa by the hair he drags him down and when kamsa is down krishna sits on his chest and st- it's wwe he starts punching him now our acharyas ask a question why by the hair krishna could have held the hand krishna could have held the leg why the hair ye yathamam prapadyante you held the hair of my mother when on the night when she got married you held the hair of my mother ye yathamam prapadyante i remember that kamsa and when the day comes i will hold your hair and drag you down and kill you krishna never forgets our mom- memory is very volatile we forget krishna never forgets so now when krishna goes to mathura vishwanath chakravarti thakur says something very interesting krishna goes to mathura and now krishna has killed kamsa kamsa's body is there and krishna is standing very royally very charismatically very dynamically krishna is standing in front of the dead body and all the mathura vasis are like this ah oh, bhagwan bhagwan aaye hai sridam sakha comes there radharani's brother sridam sakha comes there he looks at the whole scene and says you are not my krishna krishna says what do you mean i am your same krishna bluish black complexion pitam varvesh he says no you are not my krishna krishna says what do you mean i am i am the same krishna he says no you are not my krishna krishna says why why do you think i am not your krishna sridam sakha says you are not my krishna because my krishna is not so powerful he cannot kill demons killing kamsa is so powerful it is believed kamsa was so powerful with his left hand he would whirl an elephant and he would throw at jarasan we are talking about an elephant even if you are given 10 hands still we will not be able to and kamsa with his left hand would whirl an elephant and he would throw and krishna drags and punches and smashes and kills him and sridam sakha says you are not my krishna why because my krishna is not so powerful krishna says what is that one thing that i can do by which you will be convinced that i am your krishna sridam sakha says there is one thing that you can do 
Krishna says, Acha, what is that one thing? Shri Dharma says, let's have a fight. Kamsa's dead body is here. <laughs> let's have a fight. So Krishna says, okay. Near the dead body of Kamsa, Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur says, Shridam Sakha and Krishna starts punching each other. <laughs> they are fighting and punching each other so much so that Shridam Sakha defeats Krishna, sits on the chest of Krishna and says, Convinced you are my Krishna. <laughs> I defeated you, which means you are my Krishna. Because my Krishna cannot kill Kamsa. Krishna is thinking, what love is this? Even we are thinking, what kind of love is this? Sri Damsaka has practically seen Krishna kill Chanur and Mushtik and Kamsa. He has seen him kill Agasur, Bakasur, Shakatasur, Denukasur, Vatsasur, Vyomasur, Keshi and so many demons. But the love is so thick that how much our Aishwarya Krishna puts, their love, love never shakes. This is our Krishna. This is the Krishna whom we worship. And this is the mood that Prabhupada is coming down to give. The mood of Sri Bindavan Dham. I'll just take another one or two minutes and then we will end our discussion. Shripad Mukundata Prabhu, who is the head pujari of Krishna Balaram Mandir. We have two Mukundata Prabhus. One, uh, does Prabhuji come here? The another? So we have two. One is uh, pujari, ha, one is scholar, and one is pujari. Hmm? So Shripad Mukundata Prabhu, who is the pujari, he is from Europe. So he had gone to Switzerland one time and he met the bishop, the church, he met the bishop and when he was talking to the bishop, in the room there was a telephone. So Mukundata Prabhu asked, uh, what is the use of this telephone? So that bishop said, oh it is for calling God. So Mukundata Prabhu said, Acha, calling God and do I have to pay something? And he gave a big hefty amount in Swiss francs, very big amount. So Shripad Mukundata Prabhu said, oh, this is, this is quite a lot of money for calling God. And then uh, they had a conversation. They chuckled about it. They have a, had a conversation. And Shripad Mukundata Prabhu came back to Vrindavan. After a few years, that same bishop came to Vrindavan, Krishna Balram Mandir. And he came to Prabhuji's room. And they were talking. And in Mukundata Prabhu's room also, there is a phone. So he asked Mukundata Prabhu, what is the use of this phone? Mukandata Prabhu said, to call God. So he said, he, he removed his pocket, his wallet. He said, how much? Mukandata Prabhu said, free. He said, free? What do you mean free? Mukandata Prabhu said, our God is local. He lives in Vrindavan. So local is calling is free. <laughs> from, from Switzerland, it is costly. But our God is local. Local calling is free. So no cost. He was bewildered. He didn't expect this answer. So this is the Lord whom we worship. Vrindavan Krishna, Brajendrandan Krishna, Shama Sundar Shri Krishna, Vanavihari Shri Krishna, Vrindavan Nath. And if not for Prabhupada, he left Vrindavan Dham to give Braja to the whole world. In the Leelamra Chatswarup Maharaj writes something very interesting. When Prabhupada was there in the house of Sali Agarwal, Gopal Agarwal and Sali Agarwal, at one point he was asked to leave. So Prabhupada left their home and Prabhupada didn't know where, where to go. Left, right, no contacts, nothing. He didn't know where to go. Satswaru Maharaj writes, Prabhupada that night stayed in a YMCA. Now in America, YMCA is a gym. It's a gym. Prabhupada that night stayed in a gym. Next day morning put a few cents, took a bath and stayed for 24 hours in a gym. Now let us pause here, dear devotees, and think. Will we be in a position to spend 24 hours night and take bath in a gym? Very handful. Probably not. That way at the age of 70, next to impossible. And Boston was freezing. Boston in, in winters gets very, very cold. Prabhupada lived in a YMCA. Why? To give this mood of Brindavan to everyone. Finally, I want to end with this point that Prabhupada traveled so much around the world, relentlessly in his old age, preaching, 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 writing books, making disciples, and so on and so forth. 
One time Prabhupada was transiting Bangkok. Shruta Kirti Prabhu writes this in his What's the Difficulty book. Prabhupada was transiting Bangkok and Prabhupada looked at Shruta Kirti Prabhu and said, I want to take bath, get my accessories. So Shruta Kirti Prabhu first had to go to the baggage carousal to get the bags. He got the bags and he gave the cloth and the lota to Prabhupada. And Prabhupada went inside to the restroom. He went inside but there was no facility to take bath. There was just a wash basin and there was a restroom. No facility to take bath. So Prabhupada went inside and he couldn't find. So he came out and asked Shruta Kirti Prabhu, where am I supposed to take bath? So Shruta Kirti Prabhu also looked around and he didn't find. So Prabhupada said, let's do one thing. I'll just take bath in this wash basin. I'll take water from this wash basin in my lota and I will take bath. So Shruta Kirti Prabhu said, whatever Prabhupada desires. Now if spiritual master is saying, how can you say, no Maharaj, you should not do Prabhupada is saying, he said, okay. Now Prabhupada put a gamcha and with his lota from the wash basin taking water and pouring on his head. Taking water, pouring on his head. Prabhupada took full bath. And dear devotees, it was hardly a minute since the janitor had cleaned the whole area. He had cleaned the whole area and now Prabhupada had taken a full bath. So water was completely spilled. And now he, the attendant was standing from a distance and seeing what is going on. He knew people take bath, but this was a very unique way of taking bath from the wash basin. And Prabhupada was cool. He didn't care. The, the attendant, the janitor was complaining, hey, this, that, this, that. Prabhupada was cool. He, he took bath, put on a sannyas cloth, nicely put tilak and he started walking out. So he came now to Shruta Kirti Prabhu. Now Shruta Kirti Prabhu was thinking, what will I say? Guru Mukha Padma Vakya, he wants to take bath there, what will I tell the attendant? So he came to, the attendant came to Shruta Kirti Prabhu and said, this is not correct. I just cleaned everything and he was scribbing and complaining. Shruta Kirti Prabhu said, you should be happy. Prabhupada is giving you an opportunity to serve. Now the water has spilled, you can clean and now you are serving. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Prabhupada, be happy. <laughs> no, the attendant did not understand. But even before he could understand, Shruta Kirti Prabhu and Prabhupada left. <laughs> so Prabhupada has not just travelled in an airplane, not just gone in a cargo ship, but done things which are very, very difficult, which we will think probably a thousand times to even do it. Whether it's staying in a YMCA or whether it's taking bath in a wash basin. Having said this, I very humbly offer my obeisance to Srila Prabhupada, all the glorious, wonderful disciples of Prabhupada, to His Grace Radhesham Prabhu, and to all the devotees here for very kindly engaging my vani, engaging my tongue in glorifying Vrindavan Bihari Shri Krishna. Shri Bhajendadandan Shri Krishna Bhagavan Ki, Srila Prabhupada Ki, Gaura Premanande Hari Hari. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Any questions?